So when we say get out in English, it can literally mean that you want the person to leave the room. But the definition I want to talk about today is when we say get out to express disbelief when someone shares news with us. Um, if you research this, it might say that we use the phrase get out um, when we don't believe good news or when we don't believe bad news. But in Canada, we actually use it for both. So a good example would be if my sister said, I won the lottery, I won a million dollars, I could respond by saying get out. Basically, what I'm saying is I don't believe you. Um, if my sister won the lottery, I probably would say, get out. Um, and again, it's just a way of expressing disbelief uh, for something someone has said. So this is a good way to express disbelief by saying, get out. It is actually a short form of a longer phrase, get out of here. Uh, and we usually say this with a little bit of a slang pronunciation. We say, get out of here. Um, so again, a good example would be if my sister said, I just won a million dollars in the lottery. Uh, I would probably respond in disbelief. I would probably respond by saying, get out of here. You can't be serious. Or get out of here. I don't believe you. Uh, so again, if you say get out or if you say get out of here, both are ways to express disbelief uh, in English for something someone has just said to you. Anyways, Bob the Canadian here and you're learning English with me and I hope you're having a great day and have a great weekend. I'll see you on Monday.